Shake it. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be watching another Disney Channel original movie, a decom. Today we're going to be watching Ice Princess, which was the like original obsessed artist movie. It's like the original I, Tanya. The pivotal scene I remember from this movie is where she opens the soda can with a straw and she's like really into, she's like a nerd. This also has Michelle Trachenberg. I don't even know how you say her last name. Trachenberg? Trachen... Trachenberg. If you don't know who she is, she was literally the moment of the early 2000s. She was the most beautiful ever. She was the moment. Like her and Amanda Bynes were owning the 2000s. One of my favorite movies that she was ever in was Mysterious Skin, which is Gordon Levitt. I love that movie so much. And she was an amazing, I loved her in that movie. She was so cool and I just wanted to be her. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. If you don't know what Audible is, Audible is a audiobook listening app where you can listen to tons and tons of audiobooks. Audible has tons of content to entertain, inspire, and inform. You guys can look at stuff to entertain you, whether that be an audiobook that's just full of fiction. You guys can listen to an audiobook that is full of information and wellness programs. You guys can also listen to podcasts on Audible. Audible has a well-rounded content catalog to entertain you at all points. Like I said before, there's tons to choose from Audible. There's comedy, romance, fiction, nonfiction, true crime, podcast, all of the above. You name it, Audible gots it. Gots it? Audible has it. My audiobook recommendation this month is one of my all-time favorites, my favorite, favorite, favorite series ever. It is the Foxhole Court series or the All for the Game series. It has the Foxhole Court, the Raven King, and the Kingsmen. This is my favorite series of all time. This was actually the first audiobook I ever got on Audible and it is one that I continue to listen to frequently because it is my favorite series ever. I really recommend it to you guys. It's literally one of the best things I've ever listened to in my entire life. I love this series so much. Audible is the perfect thing to listen to while you're doing just about anything you guys can listen to audiobooks or podcasts while you're working out cleaning working i use it while i'm working out and working just in general um because i don't like sitting in silence audible members get one free credit every single month good for any title in the entire premium selection of bestsellers and new releases to keep forever audible members also have full access to the plus catalog and can listen to thousands of included titles you guys can explore audible with 30 day free trial and you guys can also share the gift of audible by sharing it with a friend or family member you guys can go to audible.com slash trend level or text the code trend level to 500 500 to get one free audiobook a 30 day free trial and explore their plus catalog Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. That, can we appreciate that little title sequence right there? It looked beautiful. That was epic right there. I liked that a lot. Also, the mom from Parent Trap is in this. She's a trainer. She's the, she's a, she's the coach. She's a coach. Joanne's about to go batshit crazy, y'all. She's about to go batshit crazy. And you'd win the Nobel. <gasps> it's our favorite girly. It's our favorite girly. It's our favorite girly from All or Nothing. Bring it on All or Nothing. Yep. It's our favorite girly. Hey, you're that was like kind of a girl meet cute, like a little bit of a girlfriend meet cute. Like she was definitely like walking up with the slow music. Casey was literally like, Oh my god! You know what I'm gonna say, but I feel like that's kind of starting a little lesbian love story because honestly, I think every mean girl and every single, every single teen show is coded as a lesbian. And I think we're gonna see that in this movie today. All or nothing girl is gonna be coded lesbian. And you can count on that by the end of the movie, it's all gonna make sense. You know? I bet there's an exact aerodynamic formula. Dude, what a fucking nerd, dude. Boo! I watched this movie to see someone get their leg bashed in with a baton. I did not come for our aerodynamic formula. Not at all! Oh yeah, she's a fucking skater! I forgot that she was an ice skater too. She's a figure skater. Okay, so you're telling me I forget her name. I don't know what the actress's name is, but I for she was literally, she was a figure skater in Ice Princess and she was a cheerleader in All or Nothing. And I think she was a surfer in Soul Surfer. <gasps> she was literally the moment. She was not, she was not in Soul Surfer. I take that back. That was not her. Hey, no stretches on the ice. As someone that is a figure skater, she was literally skating outside, which she would know that. 
She would know that. So she's just acting like a dumb dumb for no reason. Okay, there's literally no reason you should be filming their interaction. That's creepy. That's creepy status. You should coach our basketball team. We could use a kick in the butt. If you don't leave this instant, that's exactly what you'll get. He's like, okay, maybe MILF. Maybe MILF, you can kick me in my butt. <laughs> yeah. But first- This is not just her falling in love with skating. This is definitely her falling in love with Jen. She's in love with her. <gasps> What's that called? The Zambui? I have no idea what it's called. She's looking at him like he's so cute. He's literally like driving a Zambui or something. I don't know what it's called. Girl, what the fuck is the point of him doing that if you're just gonna go right on it? Hey, don't you know anything? No skating when the Zamboni's out. Okay, enemies to lovers. They're really, they're really starting it off. He's just scolding her all the time. What, like, uh... Inertia and drag and velocity and all that? How do you know about that? I'm into cars. <laughs> the physics geeks get together. He said like velocity and she was like, you know, you know physics? Girl, everyone knows velocity. Give me a break. Okay, and she's kind of an editor. Physics to the required elements of competitive figure skating. Girl, do a voiceover. You're like freaking me out. She's so, there's so much eye contact. I feel like I'm gonna like, die did she actually do that i really want to know if michelle actually did that because it kind of looks like she did the face if it if she didn't the face tracking on the cgi was better than i tanya can we okay her little i don't know how to put this in the words but just this who let the big fourth grader on the stage? Who let the big fourth grader come on? They kind of suck. I'm just kidding. They're children. They, they're really good. They're really good. I like how she's like, she's like, I'm showing up these fourth graders. Like, no shit, you're going to be better than them. Shut up. Is that true, Tina? That I'm on a junior level? Well, no shit. You were just showing up all these kids. You literally decided to show up all these kids. No shit, you would skip two levels. Good for you, though. I love you. You need custom boots. $600 minimum, and the blades need to be sharpened every six weeks. You have to want it. You have to want it more than anything else. It's not something you do on a whim. But that's not it. It's not just about wanting it. It's about having people in your life to sacrifice enough to let you be able to do it. Those girls don't just want it. They have parents that are willing to sacrifice for them. Her parents don't even know. That was not about wanting it. That was about the realistics of the cost of being a figure skater. You want, like, bread. Buckets and buckets of bread. <laughs> she eats buckets and buckets of bread for sure, dude. Who cares about all that stuff? Don't you just want to skate all the time? Okay, Tanya Harding, calm down. I never did this. The jumping shrimp is a skating machine. You want to be called the jumping shrimp? I hate that. I would hate to be... Don't... Don't call me a shrimp. How would you like to learn to stop traveling on your sit -spin? I don't. I'm the jumping shrimp. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? Oh my God, look at her little logo. It was a little shrimp. She is a branding team. A whole branding team. The jumping shrimp never falls. Who's this? It's a Zamboni guy. Teddy. Teddy the Zamboni guy. Teddy the Zamboni driver. Teddy the Zamboni driver, that, that is him. Tina. Tina Harwood. Yes. With all the trophies and the little outfits. That was derogatory. Outfits. Derogatory. Why would you say that? That's so rude and judgmental. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I'm so sorry. Carry on with all your fun here. Thank you. Why is she being so judgmental? Like, literally, what did a skater ever do to her? Kill her? What if that was a thing? Like, oh my god, like, what did a skater ever do to her that she's so mean and judgmental of them? She's like, yeah, my parents actually died from a figure skater. Yeah. Joke's on you, bitch. I I'm not dressed for a party. Shake it. Okay. Your hair. Oh, you meant that shake? 
Sorry. You guys could probably skate circles around us. But not pushing a puck. <laughs> She's like, but I could do it. She said I could do it if I knew the physics of it. Give me that formula and I'd be able to do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. At that rate of descent, his estimated trajectory would bring him directly through the window. She didn't have to say all that. If the zip line, if the zip line is connected towards the top, towards what else, where else would he go? Where else would he go? If it's point A is at that top, the point B is right by the window. Heavy boy goes to low point, goes through window. You don't need a formula for that. I fixed stuff. How did that happen? That happens if you just pulse directly up. An object is only as strong as its weakest point. Physics. Bitch, you use hard plastic thing to punch in the hole that's supposed to be easy to open. She's kind of annoying. With all this physics stuff, I'm kind of like, shut up. Like, things can relate back to physics, but you're you're being a little overdramatic with everything. You popped a little hole. You popped a little hole in the can. But I will admit that scene when I was younger was like the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I thought it was so cool. I did it with everything. If I found a plastic thing, I just wanted to use that to open the can instead of the actual tab. Ugh. So iconic when I was younger. Watching it now, I find it a little annoying that she keeps doing that with everything. But like, honestly, good for her. She's smarter than me and I love her for that. Just this tutoring thing has got me totally stretched out. Why are you doing this? I mean, this kid is obviously the dumbest ninth grader on the planet. Damn. This is a fucking- Her mom's a teacher. I don't want any help from you if that's what you're saying. Sweetie. <laughs> she literally- Her mom is looking at it like they are literal- She's looking at it like they are like sex toys in her bag or like- Full on cocaine, marijuana, drugs, alcohol. She's literally looking at it like it is the worst thing she's ever seen in her entire life. Man, there are skates and an outfit. There's nothing wrong with the way we live. I have not been able to give you a quarter of the things that I wanted to. You've given me everything. Then you need to give me something now. That is, no, absolutely not. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in television. Ever. I'm saying television because it was the Disney Channel original movie, so it was just played on television. No, absolutely not. You should be freaking grateful that your child is smart and talented and is grateful for the things that she has. She's not complaining about the house you live in, the way you live life. You are because you want to live an extravagant life and you want your daughter to give it to you. And that is disgusting you brought your child into this world that was your choice they didn't have a say in it they did not have a say in it so you can't say that to them i'm sorry i know hot take by trend level but geez this is the oh god also so much broccoli and carrots on the table for two people that's just a ginormous amount of carrots and broccoli for two people i just have to point that out because you guys are gonna have like a, a little like a small portion, it's a side. It's not a main course. Why do you need so much? Unless, of course, someone wins a trophy. And then it's outcast for you. Yeah! <laughs> and earplugs for me. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh -oh. Never freak till after the long. Freak after long. I love it. They're girlfriends. They're girlfriends, y'all. She's literally helping her because they're girlfriends. Jen wasn't even that. I love this movie so much because Jen wasn't even a mean girl as they tried to make her out to be. Literally through that entire thing, she just does not. She does not like skating. Appreciate the effort. But I'm gonna I cry. She literally gave her a makeover because they love each other. Case. Oh my goodness. I'm. You're hot. But stay away from Brian. He's mine. She literally just called Casey hot. This is what I've been waiting for this entire movie. I love Jen. She's amazing. She's my favorite. She's my favorite ever because they are just amazing. They are just amazing. Sister before misters, and by that I mean, let's throw away misters completely and just get together. Yo, Hayden was the moment of the early 2000s sports movies because she's talented. Look at her, she was a cheerleader, she was a dancer, she was a crumper. We saw that in All or Nothing. She was a cromper. 
Okay, I see the CG I had at that point. I saw the CG head at that point. Did you know she had a triple? Girl, how did you she not know? Girl, how did you not know? You're the coach. What the fuck? Mom, the computer doesn't make the jumps for you. Oh my god, Jen is so in love with her. She's defending her too. The computer doesn't make the jumps. Yeah, okay. Okay, girlfriends. Yeah, you don't need to hide from me anymore. You skate a clean program tonight? You can move up. Knock me out of fourth. <laughs> She's like, I don't give a fuck about this whole thing. She's like, I don't want to skate. Knock me out. Also, I'm in love with you. <laughs> I see the motion tracking on the face. It's moving. It's moving a bit much. Are those new? Yeah. Are you crazy? You can't compete on new skates. Tina Harwood, Tanya Harding. Yeah, I get it. I get the reference, bitch. You might want to reconsider that no coach thing. Damn, Tina Harwood more like Tanya Harding. I love it that this is like a big reference to Tanya Harding. Are you happy about my feet? <laughs> yes. Are you happy about my feet? Hey, ease up, Casey. Oh! Oh, fuck you, her. Teddy. Like you weren't part of it. <laughs> of course, Zamboni guy was a part of it. You set me up. All of you. All of you guys got me to fall in love with you each individually just to set me up to make me fail. I fell in love with the MILF, the Zamboni guy, and the beautiful daughter who's so gorgeous, Jen, Jennifer, all just set me up to fail. I can't even, I can't even believe this. I can't. Typical. No, you don't know what I want. Because you never cared. I love you so much and I would protect you with, like, literally everything. She's the best character of this entire movie. She has the best character. She hasn't even had gr big character development because she wasn't even mean to start with. But you know what I want? I want to go to the homecoming dance. And far at the I top of the pyramid. Brian. Yeah! And I want... To stop feeling like an idiot for fucking math because I don't have the time to learn it. I know this is a Disney movie, but I love Jennifer's character. I think the way they write her character and this monologue that she has is one of the best parts about the movie. I love it that they go into detail about why she doesn't want to skate. It's not just because she's overworked, it's that she's getting to miss out on the things that she really actually enjoys. She likes going to school. She hates feeling dumb in math because she doesn't have the time to learn it. And you never really think about that stuff when you're thinking about obsessed artists with sports or something or parents that are obsessed artists that live through their children. I love her monologue. I think it's one of the best parts about the movie. I know this is a Disney movie and you think I'm getting way too in-depth about the monologue that she just did, but I think it's just a really good show of her character. Disney writers did an amazing job writing her character. I think she was, like I said, probably the best character of the movie. She was so supportive of everyone during this entire thing. And she was, she was nice. I mean, she was a little mean to Casey at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie. Like, low-key a little bit mean, but like then she like got over it pretty quickly. And I know she's in love with Casey. I can tell in every single scene. She feels bad that her mom hurt Casey, and she doesn't want to hurt Casey anymore because she loves her. Tanya Harding, be nicer to your daughter because she just wants to go to math class and have sex with her boyfriend. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? I don't see it at all. You're giving up your dream. No, no, mom. mom. I'm, I'm giving up, up your, your dream. dream. I love that so much. I'm going after mine. Damn, I, I cannot tell you how much I love that. I love a, you're giving up your dream. No, mom. I'm giving up yours. God, I've never loved a scene more in my life. I love it that it's in every single teen Disney Channel movie ever. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's, a, that's, the, that's the best trope ever. I paid my dues. I was suspended. By the time they considered reinstating me, I was 26 and it was too late. I like how they did not try to make this bitch anything other than Tanya Harding. They were like, Tina Hardwick? Tanya Harding? Oh my god, she got suspended from skating? What kind of friggin' person bashes in their friend's knee? Do you tutor? Do you know any cute guys? <laughs> That's so cute! I literally love that so much. I love the relationship she builds. She's she's the best character ever that I've ever seen in my entire life on in any movie ever. Any movie ever. She's the best character. 
and a tiara to top it off. Cause she's the ice princess, baby. She's the ice princess. Yeah! Now, that's the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you could have done the shadows on the face a little bit darker because I can definitely see the tracking. Damn, her head is floating. That head is floating. I, I would like a, I would like a freeze frame on that. That's a, that's a nightmare in itself. Those are almost dead even with Nikki's as well. Ha, <laughs> fuck you jumping shrimp. Guess who's in town? The floating swan. Mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys think my Joe Cusack impression is good? I'm sorry. How could I not see? I'm sorry. You're giving up on your dream. No, mom. I'm giving up yours. I'm sorry. Don't kiss on the ice. That's cliche. And that's one cliche I will not fall for. Because I don't think they have good chemistry and I don't think they go good together. That is a huge distraction. It's unacceptable. I don't believe this. She went into this movie with just one mom, no boyfriend, no girlfriend, and she's leaving it with a girlfriend, a boyfriend, and two moms. How about that? That's insane, dude. Oh my God, what a brilliant movie. I'm so glad that I got to experience that again. It was like watching for the first time. That's a really good movie. First of all, great message. Great messages along through the entire thing. And I loved that. Like, honestly, writing for a Disney movie, pretty good. Like. Genuinely, like I'm not just saying that, like it's like pretty good. Also, all the Tanya Harding references, amazing. I love that. I love that that I didn't get that when I was younger, but now I got it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Instagram at tkallevel and Twitter at leveltrin. I post a lot on there, so stay updated with me by following me on them. I'm also using my letterbox very frequently now, so go follow me on letterbox as well. It's at leveltrin. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and make sure you guys turn on that notifications bell as well so you guys can be notified and be the first ones to watch my videos. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>